My name is Wisdom of Yahweh, Osakwawan. I'm from Nigeria, Benin City. I'm based in UK, Nottingham. Um, the story behind why I box, like when I was in school, I just used to like fighting there, and honestly, my dad wanted me to play football. I was like, nah, nah, I want to get into boxing. I didn't really, really know not anything about boxing, so I went into boxing, but the coaches didn't take me serious, but honestly, I was causing trouble in school. And my dad stopped me from going po and my dad stopped me from going boxing, he stopped paying. Then after when I turned 18, I started working, then I go back into boxing. Basically, the way I know my coach, the one that teach me my footwork, everything I go, his name is Les Wright, and he does business, like online business. So obviously, one day, I came to this gym, he saw me training hard every day, I was here twice a day, he saw me training. So one day, he came up to me, he's like, oh, are you a boxer? I was like, yeah. Then obviously, he started training me, he taught me how to skip. I was, if you see the first time, I first started skipping, I was so, I was not good, but, that guy taught me everything, footwork, mostly. I left him because he couldn't get me no sparring. I was so good, I got the speed, I got the power, I got the footwork, but there was no sparring, so I left. That's why I left him. But my new coach now is Killer, his name is Killer. Um, um, the boxing gym I go to is Dick City Boxing Gym in Nottingham Forest. Yeah, his name is Killer, and he's, the, he's a professional coach. And my other gym is, um, my other gym when I go to, to get my amateur fight, his name is um, Javi Kalik, that's his name. I go there to get my amateur fight, so I train at this gym, I train at the professional gym, and I train at the amateur gym. Guys, well, what I'm just gonna say to you, make sure you stay away, because if I touch you with my jab, woo, damn, you dropping, One, two, you three, sleeping, damn. you crying, woo. My current thought on the fight is I'm ready, I'm prepared, I train three times a day. I'm not hungry. I just, I just get my job done and get paid. That's me. Like, there's no need to be hungry. I just, why would I be scared? It's a job. One punch can change my life. One punch can disable me. So, I just have to train. I train three times a day and I get the job done. My hobbies are: I'm a barber. I do brick work, construction, um, plastering, painting, and and I love swimming. Yeah, that's my hobbies. And I love to get into people's life. I want to know what's going on in their life because one few people don't understand about this life, innit? There's not everyone that's strong. Some people are weak. So then kind of people, they need strong people around them to motivate them so they can do what they want to do. You don't have to give people money. You can, you can use your words from your mouth to change someone's life, but there's a way to do it. That's what they call professional and amateur. Amateur is different, but it's the way you do stuff in a professional way. People will be like, wow, I want to be like that guy one day. Like my Tyson. Everyone want to be like my Tyson. I want to be like my Tyson. But I don't want to be like my Tyson because he got his own name. I want to make my own name. I want to make my own name. I just want to pick a little book, a little, a little tips from my Tyson. You get me? Yeah. My predictions for the fight. I don't go, I'm not going for the knockout. I'm just going to show my talent. I'm just going to box. If the knockout comes, it comes because I'm still learning. You get me? I'm not, I'm not dead. I'm still coming up. So yeah, if it's a knocker, it's a knocker, but it's going to get some. I'm going to hurt him very hard because I don't play no games. Because it's a job to me, I want to get my job done right. Well, I just want to say, God bless everyone. I just want to tell people in this life, there's nothing you can't do. You got to chase your dream, man. Everyone in this life is blessed, man. I, I know some people that got no, no legs, no hands, but they're millionaires. But you that got legs and you got hands, you can see, you can hear. But you can't do nothing with yourself. That's very bad. So I just want to tell everybody, there's nothing you can't do. Even though, you, even though you're blind, you can still do something. Just focus on yourself. And the, the best, best thing in life is to move with people smarter than you. That's how you learn more. And you'll be smart as well. Know your history. Know your lifestyle. Life is not a joke. Life is a game. Be the player, don't be the toy. I'm the player, I'm not the toy. I got to play to the end. God bless everyone. I pray for everyone in the world. Everyone stay blessed. For sure your dreams. And God bless. One love. My name is Wisdom. I was born in Nigeria. 
I moved to Italy when I was um, 14 years old. And after I lived in Italy for one year, then I moved to England in 2015. I went to Emmanuel School. Then I did my GCSE. I didn't do good in it, but mostly I went to college. I did brickwork, plastering, painting. Then after I decided to jump into boxing, then I started boxing. Then Nottingham is not, a, it's not really a bad place. It's a cool area. Like you can do things, you go to the park, so do some exercise. Like it's a, cool, it's, a, it's a nice place. Like it's not really bad. Like the, the place is not that too. The house is not that too expensive. Like no, it's not like London. So yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, going back home was not that. It was not that easy. But but obviously, I was young. But when I moved down to to England, life was a bit. It was not that easy though. But it was it was easy because there's a lot of opportunities down here that you can do a lot of things with your life. And I got um, seven siblings. I got three brothers and four sisters. Honestly, when I when I came over, um, I got bullied a bit in school because I was big. People was calling me gorilla. But honestly, time to time, it was just it was just then it got better. Then I couldn't speak I couldn't speak English properly then. But now, yeah. Honestly, this is the Victoria Center of Nottingham. I go around. I take my chair. I do it once every month. I go around to give homeless people haircuts. I ask them, after I cut their hair, I buy them food. Let's go then. Huh? Yeah, man. Basically, I'm a professional barber, innit? I'm not trying to be rude, innit? I go around, I give homeless people haircuts if you want a haircut. You want a haircut? You want a haircut? Yeah. Come, man. No, Danny, innit? I'll take you in there. Come, man. No problem. So what's your name, man? David. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So what make you homeless? Like... I've been homeless for ages. I'm on the framework, oh. but I'm still homeless a bit. Oh. Yeah. Man. You, got, you got kids? You got a family? No. No, no, no family? Kids. So why, how do you live? How do you live? I just live up there, Roxette. Man. Wow. But I don't know if you know about me. Like I go around give yeah. homeless people a call. If they want food sometimes, I buy them food, yeah, yeah. I buy them clothes. Yeah, man, yeah. that's what I do, innit? You just stand there, because it's too hot. I don't want to put you in the hot weather. Yeah, yeah. yeah I will bring a feeling, bro. So, so, boss, what, what do you want? What do you want? Short round the side, slend it in. Huh? Short round the side, slend it in, a bit up the top. A bit up the top. And short round the side, slend it in. Obviously, I'm a boxer, ain't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my fire coming up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow as well. Oh, your birthday? Yeah, Don't worry, tomorrow. man. I'll surprise you, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> me? Nah, I don't do Bible for a living. I do. Ah, you see one thing about me? I'm so grateful because I don't know how I do things in it because I think God just blessed me. So I'm grateful that like, I do barbering, boxing, brickwork, plastering, I just a lot of things man. Hey. <laughs> like, I used to do um, I used to do construction but honestly, I stopped in it because I want to do full time boxing. Like, I started learning how to cut hair through, uh, during lockdown because there was nothing to do. Then I started watching YouTube, then you know, just pick up from there, man. <laughs> so, obviously, before lockdown, I used to party. Before the, before, the, before the COVID came, I used to party. I was not a bad boy in the street trying to fight people, but I was just partying, young age, you get me? So, obviously, I think when lockdown came, I decided to change my lifestyle. Then I started really, I start moving with people smarter than me, people that want to take me forward in life, not, not just people that don't want to do nothing in your life. So yeah, man, I thank God for my life, man. I'm a change person today. So that's just the way forward, man. Nobody, everybody can change this life, man. It's just your mentality, the way you think, and, the, and your surroundings, and the people you move with. So yeah, that's what, that's what I want to tell people. There's nothing you can do when you focus and move with the right people and move with the smarter people. 
you'll be great in life. That's just the way forward of life. Happy birthday, my lovely. Oh, that is so great. I need to put you some flowers. Ah, uh, thank you very much, right? man. Okay, yeah, lovely. Man. <laughs> <laughs> sweaty beard. <laughs> thank you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know. It's too much. It's too much. I go, I go, I run this. I run not. I run not. It's bad, yes, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loud slap. People don't know me because of me doing this. Before I would start doing this, I already know. I'm already known. Like, yeah, man. It's not like I start doing this, then I got known. Before, before I got post on BBC News, I got post on Nottingham Post. Me, I'm already known because I'm just that guy. Like, I just good energy when I go to the party. Like, you get me? Like, but man, don't cause trouble. Like, yeah, bro. Yeah. Then I decided to change my life. Then I start doing things like this. Ooh. See when you go in the sun now, man, man you fresh. Yeah. Man, be ready to put some gelly, man. <laughs> so, boss, how do you feel, man? Do you feel great? Let me show you yourself. Once I'll show you. I'll show you. Ooh. How do, you, how do you feel about that? Nice, um, God bless you, man. Okay. I just finished cutting the homeless guy. Hey, and he said tomorrow is, tomorrow is his birthday, so I'll go surprise him later on. You good, man? Yeah, man. I'll go surprise him later on. Yeah, man. God bless people, man. That's the way we move, man. If you want blessings, easy. Very easy, man. No stress. You just do. One people don't understand about life, innit? Like me, I'm a boxer. I'm not an hungry guy. I'm not hungry. You don't need to be hungry. What I just do, I just get my job done right and get paid. That's the way forward. I don't need to be hungry. What people don't understand, innit? When you're hungry too much, you start losing control. I know you want to go there, you want to go do it, but yeah, man. What one people don't understand as well, one punch will change your full life. One punch can make you reach. One punch can damage your brain. So why would I be hungry? Just to, why would I be hungry? Just get the job done right, like a professional. Like, if you want to come fix this glass. If you're not a professional, the glass will get dropped. And you're not going to get paid because most of the time, if the glass gets dropped, most of the people that are doing it, maybe they're angry. They don't know what they're doing. They just, you get me, boy, if you're calm, go there, do your job done. You get paid, man. That's the way forward, man. There's nothing getting ang uh, being angry. I'm hungry, like you see some bosses, they'll be like, I'm hungry. Nah, man, you don't need to be angry, just be smart. And you get the job done right, you get paid. Easy, man. That's the way we move. Easy. <laughs> like lemon peasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah.